Hey friends, I am so excited to be sharing what I'm sharing today. A um, couple of fun things, I will fill you in, Selma is progressing beautifully, book two. We're coming up on her one year anniversary, August 8th, I'm going to be doing some really fun things related to that, including... Um, I've been putting together a documentary from my uh, writer's residency on Orcas Island. So if you'd like to see what it's like for a writer to be alone in a cabin for five days <laughs> trying to write a book, I've always wondered what that was like. And to have that experience, I just thought, you know, I want to I wanna share it. I wanted to um, let you into my heart and into my mind and into my imagination. So there's even a few chase scenes that I did in the woods. Um, more on that later. But today, um, so I'll do a, I'll give you more info, but jump on over to my um, author site, RebeccaVillareal.com. I'll put the link in the uh, blog post and sign up for my newsletter. And don't worry, I'll only probably email you four to six times a year maximum. Um, and yeah, you'll get first access to that movie, um, which we'll call it a rough cut because I'm doing it myself. So the thing I wanted to show today is, you're going to see this backwards, I assume, because of the way I'm um, recording. It looks backwards to me, but maybe it won't be. Anyway, it's a book called The Four Desires by Rod Stryker. And um, the subtitle here is Creating a Life of Purpose, Happiness, Prosperity, and Freedom. Um, sitting here next to my favorite tree, or one of my favorite trees in my town, and sharing this with you because... Um, my life has been transformed by this book and you know I read a lot of books and a lot of articles and have a lot of magic in my life um, and, and I follow a lot of rules at work my day job I you know do what I need to do I, um, I'm still creative but you know I, I have to follow certain steps and that's not um, probably how I'm wired I'm wired to do more of a creative not linear approach. This book requires a linear approach, meaning read it at the beginning and do the steps. And for those of you who are more left-brained, um, I say, oh, you're so lucky sometimes. <laughs> not that I would trade my um, wacky weirdness. And I'm sure you're wacky and weird too. I'm getting off on a different tangent. Um, that's a compliment, by the way. So this book, there are four desires, um, and these come from the um, Vedas, which are ancient Indian um, spiritual texts. So the first one is Dharma, which is your life purpose, and your life purpose doesn't always have to be your career. Um, and sometimes your Dharma is also kind of what's in front of you. You know, it could be the dishes, it could be, you know, but the dishes as a symbol for like you're caring for your family or yourself. Um, but but you learn more about the Dharma and your life purpose. So that's one. Um, the second one is Artha. And that one is the means you need to achieve your life purpose. So in my case, um, one of my, you know, I won't get into my Dharma right now because I don't want to make this about me. But I will share that, say, as a writer, um, I'm, I need not just pen and paper, but I need the space to write. I need the head space, the mind space, the heart space, and meditation is, and yoga and nature are all big parts of that. So that's kind of some of why I get, how I get to that um, dharma through that artha, through the means to do it. The third piece is kama. Kama is really about um, pleasure, friendship, sensuality, um, all those good things in life, right? And they're important. They're so important. Um, and the fourth is moksha, which is your spiritual freedom, that, that soul connection. And the idea behind these four is that the same as the subtitle of the book, right? It is um, creating a life of purpose, happiness, prosperity, and freedom. So you don't have to give up everything and um, physical and material in your life to have that. So uh, to have the spiritual freedom, sorry. So what I've shared in this um, blog post are three meditations. Um, the first is how to uh, access your sankalpa. Your sankalpa is an intention um, 
that is something you set for the next two, six to 18 months that is really, really specific. So the first meditation um, will take you through a series of just relaxation techniques. And then you turn and you look at the definitions of those four desires, which I outlined. And then you mind map with circles. You, you put the name of that desire in the middle and you mind map it. And meaning a circle and then just words that associate with it. Then you write sort of a story of what your life would be like if in the next six to 18 months that intention or sankalpa was set and achieved. And then um, from there, you start to craft a statement that embodies um, your sankalpa and your intention. So that is what the first meditation is. The second meditation is to increase increase shakti which is that connection to your soul's purpose energy i'm not articulating it in the official way probably but it's a really positive movement kind of like uh, energy and if you feel that um, exhaustion tired listlessness you know this could really be um, something for you it's also really helpful in times of fear and confusion and stress so i've been using it particularly for me because i I experience anxiety quite often um, and I use it to now calm me down and ground myself in what's really important um, and what I know, the light I know inside of myself. The third meditation I just recorded right here next to this tree, so you're going to hear crows and kids and things out in the world. And that meditation is really about healing the heart. It, it helps to remove darkness, suffering. Um, and I really feel like in life, um, many of us hold on to those old stories and old hurts. And my hope from this is that you can do that meditation on a regular basis and really start to just allow light and contentment constantly to live inside of you. And contentment, you know, doesn't always mean that you're dancing in the sunshine with rainbows and everything. It's, it's sometimes I feel intense contentment with the mundane and it's just knowing that, knowing my blessings and feeling gratitude. And sometimes, you know, I have a lot of grumbles too and that's okay as well. You gotta let those out. So those are the purposes of the three meditations. Now I recorded them for my own use um, because I wanted to get through the practices in a, in a methodical way and to go back to them. Um, there's an incredible practice to find your dharma in which you write letters at a milestone event from four people in your life who um, talk about each of the four desires. And um, I did that and it was incredibly moving and got me so that I could articulate my dharma. I wrote it and drew a little stick figure and picture for myself just to remember it and did the same with my sankalpa, took a picture on my phone, and one is my wallpaper, and one is the when the screen is locked. So there are ways to, you know, you don't have to be an expert. That's what's so cool when experts like Rod Stryker share their knowledge. Um, so I really encourage you to check out this book. Again, it's not the kind of book that for me, I took six months to get through the first eight pages, just because, not because it's that hard, but because I, I didn't have the space. I was starting a new job. I didn't have the space in my head or heart to, to do this kind of work. So, you know, feel free to take the time you need to do the work. Um, these are new concepts for many of us, myself included. Um, but I just, I just really, really recommend this to you in a way that is so, so profound. Um, it's changing my life and I'm excited if you wanna join me on the journey. I'm not finished the book yet. Um, that last meditation, Healing the Heart, helps you access what they call your DHI, which is basically your inner voice and your intuition. So I'm sending you big love. I've been wanting to send you this for so long about the book because it's making me crazy happy. Um, and just, just joy on this beautiful day and hoping that um, you pull on this in ways that um, really, really serves you to live your life full of light and contentment.